Hello everyone, welcome back to the Kia Stinger and in this installment of One Week Later there's a fair few topics I want to bring up that I don't feel like should be in the review this is more sort of my opinion on the politics of this car if you want to call it that so let's start off by getting the things out of the way that I like to share with all One Week Later videos had this car for a week. I've been able to do around 550 kilometers and I have averaged 11.1 liters for every 100 kilometers in that time. I would say 300 of those are strictly highway driving. Now with the Kia Stinger, as you saw in my Jane Stranger and Joe Random videos, I wanted to hide the fact that this is a Kia because we all have our preconceived thoughts towards cars, uh, movies, if it's like bottles of wine, you'll want to buy something dependent on the label. You can think of it in every respect of life. Your original bias might come along how well you know a brand already and what you think they do. Kia is being experimental and risky. This is a risk and when I'm in this car I know it costs $50,000, a significant discount to the starting prices of the 4 Series and S5 Sportback. That's what I've talked about in my full review. But I look at this vehicle and I think, where is it that they're skipping out? Yes, there are some harder materials, more economy-driven things that are more aligned with what you think of Kia. But I wonder, is this a car that Kia intends to make money off of? Because we have all of this technology, a really well-designed, brand new architecture. And I imagine they're going to be putting a lot of money into their advertising to try and just tell people about the Stinger. Are they going to make money off of this thing? I don't think so. But I don't think that is entirely the point. This is the Halo car for the Kia brand. This is one of the noteworthy things the Korean car industry really has ever done. If you were someone that was planning to buy this Stinger, I think you need to be a really social individual because throughout the week of driving this, people have been asking me, what is this car? And when you get the reaction out of them saying it's a Kia and they question you, it's like, there's no way that's a Kia. That is exactly the reaction that the manufacturer wants. They want you to change everything you think you know about what Kia is capable of making. Another sort of car political thing that I would really like to hear your opinions about is should have this car been a Genesis instead? Kia and Hyundai, they're related. They do a lot of platform sharing. The G70 is a shorter version of this Stinger. But for everything that Kia was doing with this vehicle, would have it been better to launch Genesis, the whole brand, with this car? Because the design of this car is very different to any other Kia we've ever seen. Yes, it's got that corporate grille, but you could replace that with any sort of shape and there could be absolutely no relations to its Kia heritage, if we want to be so bold and use that word. So with an all new company, an all new brand, a whole new mission, should of the Stinger been that car to Genesis? Should this be the Genesis Stinger? I don't know. I, I, think, I think it should have been because, yeah, we could have said from the start that Hyundai and Kia, they're planning on building a luxury division and that is going to be called Genesis. You know, we have the G90, which was the old Hyundai Genesis. Perhaps they wouldn't have had as much attention towards a new name brand. People might not think right away that Genesis is related to Hyundai and Kia. But when you immediately say Kia Stinger and people say there's no way that's a Kia. I don't know. I had this battle in my mind and I've got these two differentiated opinions. So that's why I'd really like to hear what you have to say. Should have the Kia Stinger always been a Kia or should have it started its life and built the foundations of what Genesis is now? Should this be a Genesis Stinger? And I think that finishes up everything I wanted to say. Thank you so much for taking the time to watching this one week later video. Also be sure to check out my full review of the Kia Stinger and then also the thoughts of what Joe and Jane thought 
of this car. It's been a privilege driving this for a week. I really don't want to give it back. I want to keep on living with it and really pose the question to BMW and Audi owners. I want to corner them and say, why wouldn't you buy this? and interrogate them a bit. And so that's been everything from me. Thank you so much for taking the time to watching this video. Be sure to see my full review of the Stinger as well as the Jane and Joe videos, trying to find out what an outside opinion thinks of this Stinger. Please like the video if you liked it, share if you think other people will like it too, and I really hope I'll be able to see you again.